So last night one email arrived and uh, a student has asked me what type of jobs I can get as a microbiologist after my master's or bachelor's and so I'm making this video. It's a, going to be a quick rapid video where I'll quickly enumerate what all the types of jobs you can get. And I'm making this because this question can be there for most of you and many of you. So let's start with the first things first. Microbiology is a professional degree. A uh, lot of applications into the industry, academia as well as uh, diagnostics. So if you're doing MSc microbiology, rest assured that your placement is really going to happen fast. But uh, where that is something we have to know. Now, the first things first, you should know that if you want a work life balance, then academic institutions are the best place. You can become a professor, you can become a researcher, you can become lab technicians and lab managers, a lot of things you can do within the academic setup. Okay, so that's the number one which you can get. The next one which you have is pharmaceutical and biotech company. So what can you do there? You can do R&D research and development, then you can do QAQC, and then you can also look at the regulatory compliance. So but you need some more knowledge about that. So these are the three roles you can play in the biotech and pharmaceutical companies. Now, next, what type of job you can get is government agencies. Now, government agencies have a lot of, uh, you know, central agencies like uh, CSIR or for the US, you have FDA, NIH, CSIR, uh, India, and then, um, you know, uh, BIRAC. So all of this, they work on public health issues, including disease prevention, dis disease control, epidemiologist, you can become, you can play a role in regulating and ensuring the safety of the pharmaceuticals and medical devices and food products. And of course, uh, there are a lot of uh, NGOs and environmental protection agencies where you can work as a EPA or uh, environment protection agent and you can uh, monitor a lot of microbial contamination into the environment as well as uh, into the uh, from the industry into the river bodies and all that. So these are the government agencies where you can work and the NGOs you can work. The next will be obviously healthcare, health hospitals and healthcare facilities. So you have clinical microbiology, right? You have medical diagnostics and you have infection control, which is the sterilization and all that. So you could be involved in diagnosing and treating infections. You could be doing a lot of medical diagnosis, you know, conducting laboratory tests and identifying the pathogens and assisting in patient diagnosis, which is obviously the diagnostics uh, business and the diagnostics company, uh, companies. And then you have infection control, you know, controlling the, uh, the lab setup so that it doesn't get contaminated. BSL 2 and 3 and all that. So you have a role to play there. The next one, fifth one would be uh, clinical laboratory. So under clinical laboratories, you have diagnostic testing again. So what you did in the hospital, now you're doing in the clinical setup. So in the small clinics. So diagnostic testings, then you have uh, research collaborations and then you can do a lot of quality assurance also. So uh, like Vimta Labs is there, so they do a lot of quality assurance. So you can be employed there, right? So that's clinical laboratories. Then the sixth one would be food and beverage industry. What do we do there? You do food safety, you do quality control and you do regulatory compliance. Again, three things under the food and beverage industry. Now, food and beverage industry in India right now is 15,000 crores, right? Just the beverage industry, not the food. Food is like hundreds of uh, billions of dollars. So yeah, that you can get employed there. Next one would be environmental testing laboratories like you you are testing the water quality of a particular area you are testing the air quality of the particular area or you are testing the soil health in agricultural land so these are things you can do as an environmental testing laboratory so you can see that as a microbiologist you have multiple roles to play multi-dimensional roles to play whatever is your you know passion which aligns with your uh, you know regular thing and of course it gets you money you can always get in there now research and development companies so which are employed in agriculture which are employed in environmental sciences and of course biotechnology so you can play a role in these companies also multiple roles in optimizing the process keeping the process foolproof um, you know, now monitoring the process, all of that you can do. Now the ninth one will be biological and chemical defense. So, you know, uh, DRDO, that is where you can do a lot of research and analysis. You can contribute to preparedness of the country and response and efforts to biological threats and outbreaks. And see, biological threat is not like always a ter terrorist threat. It can be accidental threats also. Like, you know, a lab which is working on uh, vi viruses and the viruses get le leaked uh, accidentally, like how it happened in COVID. So chemical defense is like, uh, you know, you assess and mitigate risk. So you go on a uh, inspection and vigilance and look at, okay, what are the bio safety protocols which are not being followed, documenting it. And so that is where you come into picture as well. So, <clears throat> you know, as a microbiologist, once you get started, 
the whole world is your canvas you can paint uh, anywhere you want and then of course uh, you can work in crop improvement animal health and food safety also these were the 10 uh, i think broad uh, areas where you can work and what type of jobs you can get i told you but there are multiple companies in multiple uh, domains uh, so what i can suggest to you is we've written written a beautiful article on uh, microbiologist scope which you can check on biotechnica's career uh, advice section and of course, keep following Biotechnica because a lot of microbiology related jobs we post on our website app as well as on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and keep me posted. If you have any questions, I'll be right here to answer them. Thank you. Bye-bye.